Hi everyone, how are you all? And this is Paras Sheikh from Excel Excel Master, and this is my friend Andres over here. And we are just done with Excel Days Bulgaria, and we are traveling to Slovenia. And we were having a flight, and we thought, why not to make a short Excel trip video? Yeah. What do you say, Andres? It's a cool idea. I'm happy to be here with Paras. It was great Excel Days in Bulgaria, and ja, ihr seid natürlich auch alle willkommen beim nächsten Mal in Bulgarien dabei zu sein. Es war ein super excel event. It was super, wasn't it? Was it? Super, yeah, yeah, it was really super. We met so many, so many nice excel guys and now we want to show you a short trick. Yeah. Stay tuned. And so by the way, the time our flight is getting ready for Slovenia, where we are going to meet our friend Gaspar and uh, Lila Garani and Ken Pauls yes, and right. yeah, 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 all, all the cool and uh, very capitally uh, excel guys yeah. yes so meantime we'll make that video for you yeah yep. okay be happy with it so let us show you two easy and short excel tricks my first trick is how to jump around the corners of a selection or of a table if you've got a table if you're using a table you can see it at table design or in german tabellenentwurf and if you are in a table you can press Control period in Germany it's Steuerung Shift Raute and you will jump around the corners of the whole table. You don't have to use the scroll bar, you don't have to use the arrow keys, you just can jump around. It's also in a small selection outside the table, so you, if you are selected a range, press control period or Steuerung shift enter in German and you can jump around at selected range. It's my trick for you. Yeah. Let me show you my trick right now. So, okay, so the trick what I have for you my friends is like we have this data over here and we have some calculation table and when we want to convert them into a value yeah, so the easiest way is that we select this data, control C and control V. And you have seen nothing has been changed over here, but when you press control again, you can see the small icon over here, control, that's open the paste options. And when you just hover it on the icon, you see W as a value. So if I press W, it will paste it as a value, but in English uh, version, you will be pasting it as V. So that is the quickest way to paste the data. So let me quickly show it to you without doing any explanation. Let's go control Z. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm using a German version. <laughs> okay, so here we have it. Control C, control V, control W. Yeah. We are done. Of course, V in English. Uh, yes. Be aware of the version of the regional settings you're using. Yes. It's a really cool um, pos possibility to uh, insert values. Yeah. But you have a, got a third one uh, to how to do it via mouse. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. We can do that, you know. But only the reason I don't use that way is like you select control and you then press your right click key and move it and then drag it again over here. You get the option as values. I find that is quite uh, moving your hands, but with the keyboard, it's much easier. And the most important thing, Andres, is with this one, the range selection. If you miss out some kind of a range, yeah. then it will be a terrible mess. So I would always prefer to do it with the keyboard yeah, shortcuts. You have to read the right range uh, to put it, uh, um, insert. You have to insert it correctly. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely That's right. Not, uh, sure. And then doing it with the keyboard, you find yeah, like a pro, fine. you know, yeah. <laughs> we will do another stuff in Ljubljana. We yeah, are sure. We're going to Ljubljana and... Yeah, we have to make sure that we catch up our flight. Yeah. Okay, so we have to run now. <laughs> okay, take care, guys, and we will catch you up in Ljubljana. Uh, bye. Bye. And uh, subscribe to it. And you. subscribe to Andy's channel as well. Uh, okay, bye. Bye. Take care.